What up YouTube? My name is Marvin and today we're finally taking a look at the Electric Eye Mud Killer. I got this pedal a couple months ago and I've already played it. Honestly, it's awesome. I love it. But I wanted to do a demo. Um, I wasn't able to do a demo because I was actually in the middle of moving or right before moving uh, when I got the pedal. So we're going to be looking at the Mud Killer. What this is, if you haven't already heard, is basically a modern day um, boost overdrive you could say we have four knobs it's tone pre-gain pulse gain and the mud control and there's a couple little dip switches as well the first dip switch is basically an on off switch for the pre-gain which is basically the actual overdrive on the pedal if you want it to be on or if you want it to be a completely clean boost in the middle you have a close and open switch which actually functions uh, with the foot switch ability of this pedal on the side, there's a jack where you can use your standard instrument cable. For most amplifiers, that's the way that they use, that you can uh, channel switch. This pedal is really cool because you can engage the pedal and change channels at the same time. Someone like me, who's mainly a rhythm player, it's great because you don't have to keep an overdrive on that messes with your clean channel and the tone of your clean channel. You can step on one pedal and it changes the channel and turns on the overdrive at the same time. That's really cool. And it's one of the main reasons I got this. By the way, if you hear a lot of background noise, uh, they're doing construction on a house next to mine, so sorry. Anywho, back to the pedal. The comp switch is compression. There's different types of, there's two types of compression. One of them I think is more compressed with less volume, and the other one is less compressed, like more open sounding, and more volume overall. I think the one that I prefer is the one with more volume, but I don't remember which is which. I just like it to the left, so whatever. Post gain is basically volume, and the mud control, which is the main star of the show on this pedal, it's kind of like controlling the low frequency. Like, you can control your lows and highs of the pedal overall with the tone control. Obviously, that's the main tone. But it kind of cuts off the fat in your signal to really tighten it up or to really open it up. So it's really up to you how you want it. And I like that because it doesn't have to be like some pedals like that just have one knob or two knobs. They're simple, but you only get one sound out of this. What I like about this pedal is that it has a lot of variation of how you want to boost your guitar. And I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to be using three different guitars, a 6, a 7, and an 8-string, all Ibanez. They all have the same Fishman Fluence Tosina Bassi pickups. They're all going to be low tuned because this pedal is probably mostly for low tunings. My 6 will be in drop C, my 7 string is in G sharp standard, my 8 string is in drop E. I'm using my Mesa mini rectifier set to modern, all the knobs at noon except for the volume because it's a little too loud for my house. It's going to be recorded through my CAD TSM 411 into my MacBook, Logic Pro X, whatever, blah blah blah. No noise gate, nothing in between the signal. I'm going to show you how the Mesa sounds by itself. Big sounding sounds great um, but let's tighten it up I'm gonna do the basic thing that everybody usually does they usually drop the gain all the way down on their overdrive and boost the signal the clean signal all the way up we're gonna start rolling the tone control and I'm gonna leave the mud control and right in the middle so you can get an idea of the main tone of the um, of the pedal so the tone is in the middle right now it's not on now it's on. 
Pretty tight. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's definitely a difference. Take a listen to how quiet this pedal is. That could be because I'm using active pickups, but I've had some uh, overdrives that were pretty noisy, so that's a plus. Tone all the way down. Very uh, bright, but it's not brittle, you know? So that's the tone all the way up. I doubt anybody's gonna do that. I actually like the tone, uh, I guess like two, like one o'clock, two o'clock, around there. Uh, this is that sound. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. I, I like it like that. It's not too bright, it's still tight, you know, but you have more tightening ability because we have not touched the mud control yet. So just seeing that all around, uh, just with the tone, you can get different types of boost, which is standard for any um, overdrive anyway. But now we can mess around with the mud control. So I'm gonna bring it all the way down, which on the control it's called fat. All the way up is skinny, and I'm going to just play a couple riffs and keep turning it so you can see what that sounds like. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, to my ears, it's a little too tight when you get to, um, you start getting past like 3, 4 o'clock. I think that maybe it's because I'm not like tuned way too low, because lower tunings tend to produce more muddy and brace, brace, bass frequencies that tend to need to be cut. I'm only in drop C, that's not that low, so... I think around the middle for this tuning, maybe even a little less than that is just fine. So you still have some thickness to your guitar sound, which is going to get covered by bass anyway. But just so it's not overly thin. Not exactly thin, but I don't know if you can hear the difference. I'll show you the difference from fat and skinny. So this is all the way down. <laughs> Skinny. 
So you see it shaves off a lot of the, you could say, unnecessary low end. It's still got some low end, but just significantly less. Like you, it's very, I don't know if, how it's coming up in the video, but it's very apparent in the room. Overall, very effective. And just in that control, it accomplishes its job as being a mud killer. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. Before we move on, I'm gonna just put this back to where I like it for my six string. And I'm gonna show you the difference with the um, with the overdrive switch when it's on and when it's off. Right now the overdrive is on. Now it's off and you can see it's actually gotten much quieter. My takeaway from that is that when it's off, it's a little cleaner. Uh, like I said, there's absolutely no gain. It's just a clean boost and you can hear a little bit more of your notes, but because there's less gain, there's less harmonics. I don't know what the actual word is, but there's less stuff going on around what you're actually playing. So it might be better for tight for like tighter styles, or if you just want a big wall of sound, maybe having it on would be better. It's really your personal preference. Uh, but I will turn it on and add some overdrive so you can hear what that sounds like as well. So it's on, here it is with the overdrive at zero. Now you can hear there's much more noise. Maybe that's why it was so quiet. It's at 9 o'clock right now. Uh, I'm going to put it at 12. This is probably unreasonably amounts of gain, but just if you really wanted to see this. Yeah, that's mad gain. We don't need that. <laughs> Maybe if you wanted to use it for an amp that doesn't have a lot of gain, just to give it more like crushing push. So that is a nice feature. That's something I've never used when I push an amp. I prefer it to be almost completely clean, but maybe just a little bit of grit. Uh, give you an example of the compression back with the uh, settings I've already told you that I, I like, the, the settings I prefer. Then we'll switch guitars so you can hear the differences with how it responds to different guitars. But I'll only change the mud control so you can hear how it caters to different tunings. Right now my compression is all the way to the left. Um, I don't remember which one that is, but that is the one that I prefer. And to the right. To the left. say what it is on the comp switch uh, like specific things that I prefer but I just like how it sounds on the left it just sounds bigger and like it's I don't know it just sounds like more the other one I don't know I just don't like it I could be wrong maybe my ears deceive me but whatever it's doing on the left is what I prefer and you know we should use our ears instead of using uh, settings and stuff to really judge our tone uh, at least that's what I believe. Anywho, um, so now I'm going to switch guitars. We're going to be using my 7 string and G sharp standard. Here's how my 7 string and G sharp standard sounds without the boost on.
the point. Thick, nasty, but let's boost it. Definitely nice and tight. Uh, the mud control is at 10.30ish, 11. So because this is a 7 and it's tuned down, let's put it up to the middle. Let's see how it changes. That sounds really good. I actually like it better a little higher. Which makes sense, you know? The more you raise the monk control, the tighter or the more it fixes the low end. I don't want to say fix, but you get what I'm saying. So let's put it up a little bit more. It'll be 3 o'clock and then I'm going to max it out. Let's see the difference. <laughs> to my ears, a little too much. So yeah, I think that's a little too much. Let's bring it all the way down so you can hear how it sounds all the way down. Really big sounding, but it's not that, like it's tight, but not as tight as it could be. So for my seven string, I actually prefer it right up here which I think the old mud control actually said six string seven string and eight string in each um, like section which must be where they where the designers themselves decided it sit best with those kind of instruments uh, but here it is back in the position that I prefer Nice, I, I like it so much, oh. Um, anywho, let's go to the 8 string real quick and then I'll wrap it up. Okay, here we are with my 8 string. This is in drop E. that I had before, Mud Killer Engage. Nice difference. On the 8, it sounds glorious. Like, okay, the 6 string sounded pretty decent already unboosted. The 7 string, kind of mushy. The 8, you get way more definition and attack when you have it boosted, which is the obvious. Everybody knew that. But with this uh, pedal, to me, it makes your guitar feel more alive, especially with the tube amp responding, because it can still respond to how you play. If you pick harder, just because it's boosted, it doesn't mean that it's going to keep it uh, compressed, if that makes sense. 
But uh, let's move up the mud control and move it down so you can see how it responds to this guitar. So three o'clock. Still a little too much for my taste. Um, let's keep it moving all the way up. Yeah, it's um, it's lost a lot more of that thick information, if that makes sense. Um, for me, too much. I don't like it all the way up. I don't like it at three. A little past twelve is probably the most I put the control. Let's bring it back down. Now it's uh, nine o'clock. <laughs> I like it more like that. Um, maybe a little more of the mud control, but it's just bigger sounding, you know? Let's have it all the way down. Now that sounds too fat. That sounds, like, I mean, it sounds great, but it sounds disgusting. So my sweet spot, Seems to be around 12, maybe a little bit more than 12. Yeah, I, I like it like that. Maybe people agree with me, disagree with me, but that's what makes this fun. I, I don't like my guitars to be overly tight. Which is funny because I bought a mud killer, um, you know, which is meant to be as much or as little as you need. But I like it around the middle, maybe between mm, 10 o'clock and at max 2 o'clock overall for all my guitars. I feel like that range is perfect for me. Now, everybody is different, but that's just what I like. But overall, I think this pedal is fantastic. Honestly, especially for, I think it's like 150 or 160 bucks in the US. It's around that price. It's not even 200 bucks. So a lot of basic overdrives can go for 200, even 300. This is good for anyone looking for options. If you wanna have one overdrive that does everything, definitely check this out. If you already have an overdrive that works in your setup and you think you need something else, maybe you don't exactly need this, especially because it's more geared, I think, towards the modern metal player. It's not necessarily geared to people who just want to boost their guitar signal for like a solo, maybe for playing classic rock or something. You can do it on this pedal. You know what I mean? It's You're able to do that. But do you need this pedal to do that? I don't think so. This is definitely something that a metal player would need if they want really tight, aggressive, machine gun kind of sounds. Um, just to overall just make their tone tighter. But overall, if you already have one, I don't think you really need this pedal unless you want to upgrade. Then I would definitely suggest upgrading for sure. Uh, if you don't have an overdrive, get this one. I have no reason to say that you can't get it. Like, and especially for the fact that it changes channels for you. When you're playing live, which I've done before, you don't want to have to tap dance on stage. That's not fun when you're trying to play and have fun. So having that built in, most amplifiers use that anyway, unless you have a specific, like crazy cool amplifier that has its own like MIDI thing. You, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about, but most amps have a regular jack. So this should work and you can always check your amp before you even buy it. Uh, so it doubles as that. Just in that alone, with all the controls and everything that it does offer you, I think this is one of the best overdrives on the market today. And I highly recommend, if you can't check it out, just buy it. If you don't like it, I don't know, sell it on the internet or something. But I'm pretty sure you're not going to sell it. Um, thank you for checking out my video. I'm going to do an in-depth comparison of this overdrive 
with another overdrive of mine on two different amps with my seven string or maybe my eight, just to show you the differences between another typical overdrive. So that way you can get a real idea of how much it boosts and cuts and does all that fancy overdrive boosting goodness. Um, and thank you again for watching. If you like your, if you like what I recorded and did today, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs sideways, subscribe, don't subscribe, laugh at me, agree with me, I don't care. But anywho, thank you and have a great day.